My mom is Mei Soi. She's from Hong Kong. Uh, she grew up as an orphan at the age of 12. She lost both her parents. Later on, um, my dad passed away when we were at a young age, so she took on the duties of raising two children on her own. Approximately in 2013, I started noticing um, changes in her personality. We received her formal diagnosis after working with Dr. Roger Wong. In 2019, the cognitive domains uh, had declined to a level that met the criteria um, for a formal diagnosis of dementia. Uh, with neuropsychology testing, um, it was frontal temporal dementia and also Alzheimer's for the language. Just like any type of dementia, it is really important to have a diagnosis as early as possible because not only can we help individuals living with the condition to get the treatments that they need, whether it is about uh, with medications or without medications, at the same time, it is also important to support families and care partners at the earliest possibility. On January 2016, I was involved in a life-changing accident. Uh, the injuries that I sustained was a left frontal hemorrhage in my brain and a um, multi-level uh, spinal injury. It was a long road to recovery. I believe the brain injury has allowed me to get a glimpse into how my mom's world is and that allowed me to connect with her and also learn about myself. Through her needs, I learned about my own needs. At first, before I learned about dementia, it was very frustrating. Trying to take care of my mother while living with a brain injury and recovering was extremely challenging. I did not have the skill set to do so, and it wasn't until I learned about the Alzheimer's Society and connected with FirstLink. That first call was the first step in bringing light into the darkness that was being experienced by myself. I remember going to my first workshop for the caregiver series to learn about the dementia and what it could look like being a caregiver. Meeting Laura, letting her know that I might need to take this course again because my brain is not retaining all the information on the first go. The skills, the webinars, the phone calls, you know, it gave me that voice to say, you know, I could do a try again. And it also gave me the permission to, it's okay to take a break. It's okay to rest. I hope that people know that the First Link Dementia Helpline is a real resource for them. And I think a lot of people still think that they have to walk the dementia journey all by themselves and it's a very isolating journey to begin with. And we're here so that we can support people and so that we can listen to them. We all have experience with dementia. We can give tips and techniques and it's a real way for people to get that support and that information along the way. So it's quite unique in that way and I think it's a really beautiful thing. There were many challenges looking after my mom, making sure that she is safe. One of them is when it snowed, she thought the snow was dirt, so she washed it away with buckets of water, creating ice on the steps. But when I tried to explain to her the dangers of someone slipping or her slipping, it wasn't able to register as a safety issue to her. Keeping her safe was one of the greatest challenges and I've persisted uh, as much as I could for as long as I could. In the moment, in those situations, it's just panic. And that's where the helpline was able to give me that perspective that the world is different for, for her. What's going on? Some dots are not being connected. My experience as a caregiver has been enduring, especially being a young caregiver and a solo caregiver to my mother. And thankfully, with the help of the Alzheimer's Society, through the education, the community, you know, that empowered me and it equipped me with the tools, the skills, 
to understand the landscape of how dementias can be so that I can adapt to the challenges that's ever changing. And through that, you know, trial and error with my mom, I find success in every day as long as I don't give up. Experience as a caregiver is, is absolutely empowering, but it takes courage to do that. And without the Alzheimer's Society, I would not be in a position to have that courage to hold my mother's hand in her journey, like how the Alzheimer's Society is holding my hand through my caregiving journey. Thank you.